So there's a big buzz in the real estate investing industry about virtual investing, whether it's virtual wholesaling, virtual uh, real estate investing, virtual house buying. But I don't know if I want to recommend you to do, to do that for everybody to do that, right? So today I want to introduce you to and take you to a property. I don't have time to teach in front of the in front of the board all the time. We're going to go on site to a property where I saw the pictures. But when I showed up at the house, it was another story, right? So virtually, usually what we do is we buy the property or we get it under contract based on the pictures. And investors are actually doing this all around the country. But I want you to think twice when it's time for you to put out that one, two, three hundred thousand dollars to buy a property without actually putting your eyes on it. So we're going to go on site today and you're going to see the difference between pictures and the real deal. So round up, make sure you subscribe. Please like this content and share with any other investors that could use this type of information. Let's go ahead and go to the site. So here's the house that I'm looking at, right? House basically looks really good from the front view, which is why what got me interested in taking a look at it. <clears throat> look at the description. Kitchen has white cabinets, some hardwood full work, detached garage. Uh, okay, then has fire damage. So they did let us know right here. So here we go. Front view. Back. Okay, it doesn't look super bad. It doesn't look like it's falling all to pieces, right? So I'm scrolling through. House looks good. Pictures. Flooring doesn't look too bad. This little dining area. So the kitchen. Okay, we got a little bit of flooring work. Not, not super bad. Not, it's just not too bad from these pictures here. So I'm looking, looking, looking. All right, well, this seems doable. So I'm thinking I was actually ready to bid on this one without even going to look at it. So you see, okay, new kit, new kitchen, I mean, new bathroom here, right? So I don't know, this could probably be a $30,000, $40,000 reno, okay, based on the pictures that I see here. So this is where you're going to get in a lot of trouble if you don't go look at the property or if you don't have some boots on the ground to go take a look at the house for you. So let's go inside and see what it looks like. Happy Memorial Day, Roundup family. Happy Memorial Day. I want to share with you. I'm here at another house. I want to share with you, Roundup. Look, I, I, you can't judge a house by what you see on the front. Wait till you go inside of this one. OM Jesus. You can't. What today's flip tip is, I just want to share with you. You can't judge a house by the front view. As I'm walking up, I thought this house didn't need that much work. All right. Roof's new. Oh, and Jesus, you are in for a surprise. Neighborhood's not bad. So I'm like, you know what? This might be good. I'm here with my boy Ron, right? We're looking at the property. Oh, man, we got a slug. What's that? A couple slugs out here, chilling. Oh. I like those slugs. So round up as you're walking in the house, actually looks, looks pretty good, right? Oh, and Jesus. Good God Almighty. Floor falling all the pieces. This is unbelievable. Back of the house falling off. Roundup, you can't judge the outside, but what's going on? Look at this roundup. Back of the house falling all the pieces. Good God Almighty. House falling all to pieces. You just cannot judge. So, if you think you're going to be buying foreclosures like we do, you better at least walk your butt around that house to see what it looks like, what's going on. Look at this the house ceiling falling in. Ooh. We'll go outside to see. This is nasty. This is one of the more nasty ones. Looks like we've got an active roof leak here. Good God Almighty. Unbefreaking believable. It's unbelievable. I cannot believe. Oh, I smell this mold here. It smells terrible. Is that falling in there too? No. Not bad. You would think just from here it ain't too bad. What? No, I was telling your partner that that back room's not built to code. So it was pooling, the roof wasn't sloped enough. Really? We tarped it, yeah. But mm. when we got the trash out, it was glass. 
Oh, okay. You trashed it out. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. This is not unreal. You guess to find out what's going on with these houses. Anything upstairs going on? We done. Kitchen up there. Oh yeah. Sorry. Oh, you, if you're cleaning it out, what are you doing? There's nothing to be clean. So no. So you know, I work for uh, Altisource. And, Altisource, yeah. And I get like the monthly made, so I sweep, wipe down. This is unreal. They tore this thing all to pieces. Did it sit empty for a while or something? Yeah, it's been empty for a long time. Duplex chilling. Kitchen upstairs. Huh. Oh, they got a tarp on this thing. Yeah, so. Oh, my lord. Yeah. This is so nasty. <laughs> you good. This is a nasty one, y'all. 140 they want for this. Not for me. I think it's got a lot of potential. It does. Rip that whole back thing off. Yeah, you have to. It's just that you're going to have to do the roof anyway. So. Oh my lord. Wow. I'm done with this one. Okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Round up fans. What up? We got the yeah, neighbor yeah. over there. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Sure. Thank you. Good God. Have you ever come back? back. That sit. door sticks. So, you know, with these digital locks, yep. he was saying. Round up. You best to be careful if you're buying foreclosures and you can't see. Oh, they got a deck. Another garage back there too. If you were buying this from a foreclosure sale, you wouldn't even see the amount of work that needed to be done. You can't even tell. And you can't walk around the back to see the top. You better be careful. You're paying 150000 for this. You think it's worth two fifty? Next thing you know. Next thing you know, you got... A hundred in rehab, you're done. Okay. You want to say anything about this room? Are you good? Um, online pictures are deceiving. Mm. It doesn't look as bad online as it actually is. So that was well, that was very deceiving. Don't believe the pictures you see online. <laughs> Roundup. You better beware. We were kind of excited about this one because it didn't look as bad online, but when you walk inside, it was like, wow. And we were willing to pay $140, yeah, 140 150 Based on the pictures. Yeah, like, we kind of thought it wasn't going to be as bad, but, man, that was rough. <coughs> Unreal. It's blocking too And bad. the neighbor said the um, person who lived there hung himself in the garage. Damn. Ask ask neighbors questions as well because they can give you a lot of insight yeah. on what's going on about okay. the house. Pictures, that's a good one. All right, happy Memorial Day Roundup family. Get out there, don't stop. Keep moving. Don't let this coronavirus bring you down. People still buying houses out there. Subscribe, like this content, share with anybody else you, that is thinking about getting into real estate. They need to know how to do this. Okay, peace.